Hi Caxton, you've got me today. No celebration assembly, that's gonna to happen tomorrow instead. Um, and today I wanted to talk to you about something that is incredibly important and probably whilst, well, whilst we are in lockdown, more important than ever. Uh, and that is online safety. And the reason it is probably more important than ever is because all of you guys who are doing your learning at home, you are probably using the internet and accessing online things more than perhaps what you ever have done before. And although the internet is an amazing place where you can do some research, you can play games, you can communicate and socialize with people in fantastic ways, there are some things that you need to be wary of, that you need to be on the lookout for. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking to you about some of those things, sharing a video with you, um, and then just getting you guys to think a little bit about how you can make sure that you and parents, if you're listening with your children, are as safe as possible whilst they are accessing things online. So first of all today I am going to share a video with you that I would like you to watch really carefully and afterwards I'm going to get you to think about what the key things were that you learned whilst you were watching that video and what are the sort of tips that you might take away from having watched the video. So I'm going to leave it playing now and then I will speak to you again afterwards. gets you through that section. So, that's my tactic tips to beat this tricky level. And that's it for today, gamers. Alfie, it's school time. Subscribe to my channel for more of my ideas and I'll see you in the games. Hi, Alfie, love the videos. Hmm, thanks. Can we team up today? Alfie! Yeah, later though, I have school. Don't leave. Play now and I'll gift you some reward points. Sorry, have to. Hmm. Uh, sorry Ellie, mm -hmm. but to be in a band you need band members. What's up with the popcorn wizards? Nothing. They're perfect. That's what's up with them. You know they win the band competition every year. They're the only ones in the band competition. Alfie, me and you could be more than just friends. Uh, we could be in a band. My guitar, your beats, we just need a... <gasps> After me. La. La. <laughs> if you tell anyone about this, anyone at all, any one person, I'll... I'll... I'll deny it. Why don't you join our band? We have a band? Of course we do. Ellie, Sam won't want to be in a band with us. He's too cool. Besides, we don't even have any songs. I write songs, I write songs, I write songs all day long. Good song. Thanks. It's going to be amazing! I can have the hair and the moves and the clothes. We can all have the clothes. Like a uniform. A cuneiform. Uh... Not with Sam. What? No band with Sam. Nope. Mm. Nippity. Nah. Why? Alfie, why not with me? Hey! You're just like those popcorn wizards. Yes! You're mean. No! Hope you play games better than you vlog about them, Alfie. But that was the popcorn wizards. Ew, popcorn wizards. Ignore them. Like you said, they're mean and cool. Did you say that? You liked the comment. Oh, did I? Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. I didn't mean it. I like your videos. Honestly. Really? You're a fan? Well... Sure, I'm a fan. Fans! We need fans! It's a school vote and no one knows about us. Uh, how could they? We only just... We need to record a song! 
and and share it around school. Then I can send it to my guitar friends. And I can show it to my cool friends. Well, gamers like music. I can show it to my gaming friends. Yes. Who's that? I don't know. I'm going to change all of your videos, Alfie, so you'll have a stupid chicken's head. <laughs> your fans will loll at you. What's his problem? I don't know. I don't know why he's doing this. You need to tell someone, Alfie. Mum! Yes, Alf? There's a guy from my gaming videos being weird. Oh. Well, can you block him from messaging you? Yeah, block him right good, Elfie. Yes, block him right good. And report him to the administrator. Yeah, report him to the what? Administrator. That's whoever runs the site or programme. Oh, and eat plenty of fruit. Your mum is amazing. Gamers ready! Guitarists ready! OK, friends, schoolmates, welcome to our first live stream. We are... we are... Uh, Sam's band! Hey! Uh, Sam and Elfie and Ellie's band... Selfie! Great song, guys. Wow. See you in school, rock star. Check it out. My mate Alfie. Look. So proud of my son Sam. What a star. <laughs> We're getting hits. Wow. We're being shared by, like, the whole school. Oh, they love us. Everyone loves us. Make it public. Rubbish. Uh, kids. Sad face, sad face, sad face. Wow, great. Check this out. Um, this is... Oh. Well, that's not very nice. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have made it public. Maybe we should take it down. But look at how many views we have! But we wanted fans, not views. These aren't fans. These are random strangers. OK, so before that video started, I said I wanted you to think about what that video would give you as tips for staying safe online. So I'm going to give you a moment now. You might want to pause the video to think, what did that video teach you about staying safe online? OK, so it might be that you picked out on that video that it talked about using reporting features on some of the things that you're using. Lots of social media platforms have reporting features. Um, other websites do as well. Uh, the mum in the video also talks about contacting the administrators. Now, some of you, perhaps who are a little bit older, might know or find out how to do this. But if you're not sure, speak to your adult at home. And if you've seen something online that upsets you and you think it might be appropriate to contact the people who run that website, then um, your parents can help you to do that. And the key message there really was exactly what those children did. Anything that you see or come across online that you think is not right, that upsets you, you need to speak to an adult about it and that might be mum or dad or it might be somebody else at home or it might be that you come into school and you tell somebody about it if you're someone who's coming into school. So those were the key things from the website, uh, from the video. But there are other things that you need to consider in order to keep yourself safe online. So again, parents, if you're listening or children, you can speak to your parents about 
There are ways on your devices for you to set filters so that you only access things that are appropriate for people your age to access. There are all sorts of explanations and guides on the internet that help you with all the different um, devices that you might have at home. So again, parents, if you're listening, please do a little bit of investigation there and see what you can do to set up those filters. Um, and children, if you're concerned about things that you're accessing might not be appropriate for someone your age, then speak to your parents about how they can set those filters up for you. Um, other tips, and these are things that you've heard before, certainly from us at school in your online safety lessons. You need to make sure that a bit like the children in the video kind of didn't do towards the end, is that anything you're putting online, you share and you talk to only people that you know and trust. Um, as I said right at the start, the internet and social media are great ways of communicating with people. But you need to make sure that you protect yourselves and you only communicate with people that you know. So that might be family, or it might be good friends of yours. Don't forget also that anything that you put online can be screenshotted, it can be kept, it can be saved, it can be downloaded by anybody who might be accessing that material. So you need to make sure that anything that you put online, you are happy with other people viewing and that it wouldn't get you into trouble if it were reshared by somebody. I wanted to just finish with a statistic for you. And it's a question that I will pose first and give you a chance to um, think about your answer. I want you to consider what percentage of children do you think in the last month have spoken to their parents about online safety? What percentage do you think have done that? You might want to pause now and come up with an answer. Okay, so the answer was 49%, which means roughly half of the children, according to the survey in this country, have spoken to parents about online safety. But unfortunately, that means roughly half the children haven't. So if that were reflective of our school, that means nearly 200 children have spoken to their parents about being safe online, but a massive 200 children wouldn't have spoken to their parents about being safe online. So hopefully after watching this assembly, you might now have a bit of a conversation with people at home about keeping yourself safe online and just investigating that you're making sure you're doing everything you can to be absolutely safe. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to do was just point you in the direction of some bits on our website. So this is the year group page that you can access to get your online learning. And on there, there is an online safety tab, which covers all sorts of different areas of online safety that you can investigate. And it gives you a lot of links to really good resources provided by other people like the NSPCC um, that you can access. Okay, so that's about it for today. If you've got any questions at all about keeping safe online, please do speak to people at home or contact your teacher via email or if you're in school speak to them in school or speak to any of the adults that are in school as well and we will do our very best to help you. Right, I hope uh, you have a fantastic rest of the week whether you are in school or whether you are at home and I will speak to you all again very soon. Take care, bye bye.